What up, peeps? It's Gabe Flowers. I am coming with a long-awaited haul video. Yes, I know. I was supposed to do this a long time ago, but I'm here now, and we're gonna we're gonna go through some things that I have been collecting over the past few months so this is kind of like a fall winter haul whatever so first piece I want to mention is the necklace that I'm wearing it is my first necklace first purchase from uh, jewelmint.com and I don't know if you guys have ever heard of jewelmint.com but it's a jewelry website where you get a monthly membership for $39.95 you're not obligated to pay the membership if you don't see anything that you're interested in you can skip a month so it's like a style mint or just fabulous like those type of websites where you get a showroom based off of a quiz you take when you sign up and you purchase if you like if you don't like you just skip the month or you could let your credits accumulate it just depends on you so anyway it's been maybe my third third or fourth month being a member and I've only gotten two pieces and this was the very first piece that I received and it comes boxed up so cute the cute little box says jewel mint on it and um, I'm trying to think what's the name of this necklace the Nicholas necklace so like in the front it'll tell you the name of the necklace and give you a little information about it and then it comes it'll either come displayed or it'll come like in a little pouch so it's cute $39.95 is not too bad they have some really nice statement necklaces uh, statement pieces that I like and this was one of them so you can't really beat that we'll put a link at the bottom for you to sign up and don't forget to use the promo video and get 50% off your first purchase so all right so next we are going to talk about hair 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 products because I have been buying lots of those if you guys watch my product junkie then you already know this and speaking of hair I am rocking Lejay today have you guys missed her? I've missed her. I just randomly pulled her out of the closet and stuck her on. So, welcome back with Jay. And, uh, <laughs> let's see, uh, Miss Jessie, if you don't know, right now they're having their buy one get one free product sale that they have like every year around this time. And I took advantage of it last year and I bought curly pudding and curly buttercream and I love both of the products. The curly buttercream a little bit more than the curly pudding but I still love both of them and I still have I bought the big size of the curly pudding and I have still over half of that left because I didn't it didn't become a staple like I used it every now and then but I still have well over half of that left and I bought it last year so this is a really good time to stock up if you've never tried Miss Jessie's if you like Miss Jessie's or if you're not really sure you can try their products out um, for a cheaper price because you'll get two for the price of one and I think they're actually doing it at Target as well until this Saturday but the sale goes on on the website until the 31st so you still have plenty of time to get it from the website but if you have a Target save on that shipping yeah so I went and I went to Target and I got their creme de la curl shampoo and I think the creme de la creme conditioner so I got them at Target I wanted to get all of my products at Target but they didn't have the ones that I was looking for I hope you guys can see that I have no clue how my camera is focusing right now BTW but yeah so I got both of these because they didn't have the two deep conditioners that I wanted in the Target so I had to order those offline so what I did order was the super sweet back treatment it's a deep conditioning treatment that they have and uh, the it says that it's essential deep treatment for growing out naturally curly kinky and wavy hair I'm not really sure how that will work but I figured hey buy one get one free I'll try it but I also wanted the rapid recovery treatment I've heard a lot about this product a lot of good things about this product and it's just an essential deep treatment for repairing dry brittle curls so I've heard a lot about this I've actually used this once and um, I was I was pretty impressed with the the results. Uh, it did pretty well for my hair, but I want to use it a couple of times, a couple more times before I do like an actual review. They right. sent a style guide. This must be something new. It's a style guide, and inside it tells you how to do like shingling 101, coils 101, um, a coil out 
how to do a dry twist out like it tells you step by step how to do these things and I was like hey how nifty is that dry twist out twist out coil out and then how to do the um, rapid recovery treatment um, deep conditioner so I thought that was nifty they did not have this handy dandy style guide last year so can't beat that the next hair product that I got was the kinky curly not today and I finally decided to purchase this and try this. It's a leave-in slash detangler. And I hear so much about this. And I figured I wanted to try it. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a trying fool. I'm going to just try all these products. And then, hey, if I like them, I like them. If I don't, I don't. I don't know. I'm going to slow down on the product buying, though, for real. After my little rant that I had last month, I'm serious. Like, I don't want to buy any more products. But I have had, you know how you get the list of products that you want to try? Like, I've been wanting to try these products since I started my natural journey. So I'm just kind of getting around to actually using them or actually purchasing them. So it's not like I'm buying them all at once. I've been wanting these for a while like at least that's that's how I justify my spending for myself so whatever I got that we'll see how it goes and also I got some co-wave rods because I want to experiment I told you I want to experiment with my hair I want to do some different things with curl cold wave rods and flexi rods I already have like the orange flexi rods which are probably about the same size as these I got three sizes um, this size and then also the bigger orange size so I plan on experimenting with these three at some point I keep saying that and then I keep doing my same twist out because it's just easier to do what you're used to like I don't, I don't want to do all of the extra I don't know maybe that's just me next I want to show some makeup that I got y'all know I am not a makeup person at all like I'm trying to get into makeup and learn more and do more like I tried to do a little bit more with my eyes today <laughs> because only because I um, shopped at Elf I know you guys have heard of Elf, EyesLipsFace.com, and as you can see, I got a crap ton of stuff for super cheap because their products are all like three dollars. Seriously, like the majority of their products are three dollars, and they had a forty percent off sale, and I had a Groupon, so I racked up on all kind of stuff. I'm not gonna show you everything that I got because. It's just ridiculous, but let's see. I got some blush. Um, let's see. Tinted moisturizer in the color Mocha, which I tried, and it's actually pretty good. Pretty close to my skin tone. Um, mineral infused face primer. Never been used. I have not used this yet. I normally don't prime my face with a primer. So this is something new for me. I got a cream eyeliner in black. I think I also got a blue one as well. I don't know where it is, but let's see what else. Makeup Mist and Set. I received that. And I received, I purchased that. Couple brushes. I got a stipple brush. Stipple, I think that's how you pronounce it. Stipple brush that I have used, obviously. A contour, contour brush, angled eyeliner brush, and I thought I had one more, but that might have been it. I also got two eyelash curlers, just your your standard eyelash curler because I couldn't find my old one, and then. A mini eyelash curler I had never heard of this before and apparently it's mini so you only do like sections of your eyelashes at a time I'm not really sure what the meaning of that is or what the purpose of that would be but hey it was cheap it was on sale I was just picking up all kind of stuff just put it in the cart I'm like oh let's try this oh let's try this I got a complete coverage concealer kit and 
dark I think it's gonna this is dark but I feel like it may be a little too dark for me I'm not quite sure um, it's got the four different colors if you guys can see the four different colors and I used actually used this one today and it did pretty well but I don't foresee myself using the darker tone I don't know maybe I should have gotten a medium I'm playing around with concealer that's something new I don't normally wear concealer but I I have hereditary bags but I noticed getting a little bit more like darker under the eyes so I've been trying to test different products to get rid of that up under my eyes because it is not a good look at all um, <clears throat> let's see what else another concealer this was way too light for me as you can tell uh, lip lock pencil it's supposed to go over your lips after your lipstick to I guess set it and keep it in place uh, lip gloss I said I wasn't going to show y'all all this stuff but I keep pulling it out basically a bunch of other lip glosses and I think I might have gotten an eyeliner or this is a lip liner and a blending brush so yeah I got a bunch of elf stuff <laughs> and as you can see it's all still in the boxes because I have not used them yet that's what I do I buy this stuff and I'm like oh yeah I'm gonna start using it and I don't use it for like months at a time literally it's it's pretty ridiculous um, oh, at the beauty supply I bought these lipsticks I've been um, trying to get into more lip colors normally I'm like a lip glass lip jelly like lip gloss type person but I do like lipsticks I just don't wear them very often so I've been wanting to wear them more often and I'm actually gonna do a video for you guys of my like favorite lips for this season because I've accumulated a few favorites after buying all these lipsticks but I wanted to show you these lipsticks I've been getting I've been getting from the beauty supply store for a dollar like one dollar for a lipstick it's by clean color that's the name of it so I had actually purchased a few of these before and I really liked them but this was when I was back home so I kind of have forgotten about them and then I seen somebody else do a video about it and I'm like oh yeah I did buy these lipsticks for a dollar so when I went to the beauty supply store they had them there so I got four different colors I bought a brown um, just a standard brown um, don't ask me why I bought brown I don't know experimenting I also bought a black yes black lipstick and I actually tried it on and it was kind of cute you gotta have the right look for it you know I wouldn't suggest throwing on black every day but it could be kind of cute and let's see what was this one cranberry mix really cute color there you can see and orange I've been wanting an orange lipstick I really really like orange orange is one of my favorite colors to wear clothing wise or makeup wise I think it complements my skin tone amazingly so I uh, got those four dollars for those four lipsticks they're pretty pigmented um, I guess I should have swatched them for you here are the swatches and as you can see they're pretty pretty pigmented and they're um, moisturizing they're not very drying at all so you can get away with not even like putting on a gloss on top of it because that's how moisturizing they are so yeah that was it for the lips next nails I have been doing my nails trying to come up with a formula for making my nails last longer because I swear I end up repolishing them like every three days and it bothers me so much it bothers me so much so um I bought a base coat uh simple colors standard base coat because I've never really used a base coat and I've been reading up and trying to come up with different methods and people say that using a base coat and layering is a plus so bought a base coat I bought another top coat too but I don't know where that is and then I wanted to experiment with some sparkles so I bought these wet and wild sparkly colors here's the first one this one is party of five glitters very very cute I have this on my toes right now over black polish so cute and then this one is wet and wild wild shine color 
Kaleidoscope. Just regular standard glitter because I have a lot of colored glitter but I never had just clear glitter. So I wanted to get that and then I saw the cutest purple. This is the cutest purple polish ever. I mean like it's it's adorable and it's called Buffy the Violet Slayer. So yeah. Um, that's it for the nails. I'm trying to think is there anything else that I'm leaving out. I think that's all of the beauty kind of beauty products that I bought. So I guess this was kind of like the beauty part of the haul. Next I will do um, shoes and clothes and such for you guys because I have been oh and more jewelry I have way more jewelry that I've gotten from like forever 21 but I didn't feel like pulling all of that out today so this is just a small haul to get you started my fall winter haul I hope that you all have enjoyed it if you have any questions comments concerns leave them below and I will be sure to answer them to my best ability all right guys I will talk to you later have a great day bye